Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to download and install applications here in macOS. And the first place you can do this is if you click on the Apple icon in the top left and click on the App Store, you can download applications from this store. Many of them are free. Some of them do have a fee, but Apple manages this store. And the main advantage in theory is that Apple has vetted these applications, which adds a level of security. There is still a small possibility that something got through, but in general, downloading something from the App Store is going to be safer than just downloading anything from the internet. And so you do have different categories and sections that you can explore. You just click on them and it will have different applications that you can download. Again, some have a fee, some are free. You can also search. I'm going to search for web browser and hit enter. And these are the results that it has as far as web browsers. Now, there is DuckDuckGo, uh, which is a browser that I am familiar with. But let's say I want to use something different or an application that's not available in the App Store. The alternative option is to go to the internet. And so I'm going to click on Safari. Now, the application I'm looking for is LibreWolf, which is a web browser. So I'm just going to type that in plus Mac OS and hit enter. And then right here, Mac OS installation, LibreWolf. So I'm going to click on that. And on Mac, the installation file is going to be a .dmg. If you've used Windows in the past, it's a .exe. So that is one difference to be aware of as far as the file type. So I'm just going to click on download and then allow. And then you can see it downloading up here in the top right. I can also find the download by clicking on the finder and then click on the downloads folder. And then right here is the .dmg, which is the installer. I'll just double click on it, click and drag it into the folder. And now it is installed if I double click on it. Now this is a good example of what can happen. So when you're downloading and installing applications from the internet on macOS, there is a security feature called gatekeeper, where if it doesn't recognize the application, it's going to stop it. Again, that's a security feature. I'm just going to click on done. And if I go up to the Apple in the top left, click on system settings, scroll down to privacy and security and click on it and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then right here underneath security, allow applications from by default, you're going to only have these top two options. There is a third hidden option and there is a little bit of work you have to do to get this option to display. I'm going to link to a video down in the video description that walks you through how to get this third option, but I'm going to click on anywhere. Just be aware that you do this at your own risk because at this point you're disabling the security. And so it's going to ask for the computer password and then it's going to give a security warning. So I'm going to hit allow and then let's try this again. Going to give another warning. I'm going to click on open. And there's my new web browser that I downloaded and installed from the internet. So that second option of downloading and installing from the internet requires you to search and find the application that you want to download and install and then downloading it from the appropriate website, running the installation file, which is a .dmg and then making sure that your security settings are set to what they need to be and then being aware that the security on macOS may or may not stop the installation. If it does, you'll need to change the setting to anywhere. Again, I'll link that video down below, down in the video description if you don't have that option in the menu. But if you do have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.